Hey everyone, it's me Hawkeye G here, and today I want to do kind of a different video. Um, what I want to talk about is what I consider to be a common misconception when it comes to the Eye of the Vortex campaign in Total War Warhammer 2. Now, as most of you are familiar with, uh, at least for the majority of races, when you do the Vortex campaign, your goal is to complete the ritual for whatever faction you're playing as, right? There are certain factions with different goals, like Altharian's campaign is a little different, uh, Nakai's campaign is a little different, so on and so forth. You know, uh, like Throth's campaign, or some of these, obviously, like, these part aren't part of the main four. Vampire Coast and Tomb Kings being exceptions. But for, for the four base game races that came with the game, uh, they all have this campaign where... You have to complete these five rituals regarding the vortex and then complete a final battle that's how you win the campaign right so uh, i was talking to my stream about this recently and talking to people who quite frankly they they said that they've played extremely few to none vortex campaigns and that's mostly what i've played because i'd like to play the vortex campaign before mortal empires i'm an insane completionist i know um so I most they said that they never play the Vortex campaigns. Now, one particular thing that somebody said is because it's a race. That's why they don't play it, is because the Vortex campaign is a race. Okay? And that's the misconception that I want to address today. Okay? Because the Vortex campaign is not a race. Okay? It's very much, very, very, very much capable of slow and steady wins the race. To be honest, I think that you're you're probably better off. I think that Mortal Empires is more of a race because the map of Mortal Empires is so large and factions can snowball so heavily in that campaign. If you can't keep up, then you'll eventually just run up against an obstacle which you can't overcome. Maybe you can use some military alliances to complete the campaign victories, or maybe you don't care about campaign victories. But, but again, the point is that I feel like that's more of a race. You can be much, much smaller than the person in first place or the first person to complete the rich, the fifth ritual in the Vortex campaign, and you can still win that campaign. You do not have to be strength rank one. You don't have to win any sort of race. So I've, I've talked about this enough. Uh, let's let's go into a campaign where I have I can kind of give you a bit of an example of some things just to, just to show some proof so you can see what I'm talking about, why it's not a race, and what the concept is behind what I'm talking about. So let's jump in. All right. So this is a bit of an older Hexwaddle campaign that I played. Uh, you can see it's turn 200, you know, probably not my fastest campaign. Uh, we do have a pretty, I mean, I don't control all of this, right? But between myself and my allies, we control a lot of the world. Okay, turn 200. But if you look at the top, okay, you'll see that the only person left on this bar is Etain, right? The High Elves. Now, if I look down here, of course, Looks like the Skaven are wiped out, right? And, and I mean, if I go into diplomacy, like, are there any Skaven factions left? No, there's not, right? So that's one way to eliminate somebody from the Vortex race is to wipe them out. Now, of course, that means, right, you, you're going to kind of have to beat them in the race anyway. If you're bigger and stronger than them, of course, they're not going to beat you in ritual material acquisition if you're capable of killing them off, right? My, my point earlier was you can be smaller than someone and still win, and... This campaign doesn't necessarily reflect that, okay, but the point still stands, okay. What I wanted to point out is that all you have to do is is beat them at their final battle and they're canceled for the rest of the campaign, right? So, Etain, let's say that I hadn't started my, camp, uh, my ritual or they had started it before me, they get to the end and they perform that ritual or you, they have the final battle, and all you have to do is beat them, and you get to cooperate with the other factions to do that, and then they can never do it again. Now you notice, so I said I wiped out the uh, the Skaven, but some of you may have noticed there's still a Dark Elf here, right? They've got a little ship here. What's that? And why do they still have territory up here, right? The Dark Elves still have territory, but they aren't, they're nowhere on here, right? And and that's, that's the thing that I wanted to show to kind of give a little bit of proof, right? The Dark Elves have already completed the fifth ritual, right? Usually they get the strongest in the Vortex campaign. Usually they complete the Vortex ritual the quickest in this campaign. However, all I have to do is beat them at their final battle and they can never do the fifth ritual ever again. They're they're canceled, right? It's, it's just like for you, 